What's your opinion on calisthenics versus weights? Again, for me, both. I like them both. You know, with calisthenics, you get that endurance strength. You get some flexibility and some mobility out of it. They're pretty natural movements, right? They're pretty natural movements. They're things that you're doing with your human body. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be more natural. Weights obviously make you stronger, more explosive. At a certain point, they also can be more injury-inducing. And at another point, they're also less injury-inducing. So there's a certain point where if you have an injury in your shoulder and you normally would do handstand push-ups, which means you're lifting up 230 pounds, well, with weight training, you could lift up 40 pounds if you want to, right? So, so there's, it goes both ways where sometimes calisthenics might be the more injury-inducing thing and sometimes weight training might be the more injury-inducing things. Mm-hmm. That's why you got to balance the two of them. You know, and for instance... When I, if I, like I hurt my ankle a couple months ago and I could not put any weight on the squat bar. So I was just doing, you know, pistols and, and, you know, air squats, jumps and box jumps. You know, I was using things that didn't have any weight because I could do all that. But the minute I put weight on my back, you know, anything above body weight, it Mm -hmm. started to hurt. Yeah. And so I just needed to let that thing heal. And I used the calisthenics to get me there. Mm-hmm. And then the same exact opposite, I had uh, my shoulder was tweaked six months ago. And I was having a hard time doing handstand push-ups because it was just the wrong angle. And so I was just using, just using, I was doing press with mm-hmm. a lighter weight than my body weight in order to keep the blood moving in order, in order to keep the, in order to keep the system moving. Because that's what I think you got to do. So I think you got to be, you got to find a balance of both. Which means, which means I'm not great at either one of them. I'm not going to win in any weightlifting competitions, and I'm not going to win in a gymnastics competition either. And I, there are some guys, especially now. I mean, there's some guys that are getting in sick shape. Um, you know, you watch the guys in the CrossFit Games right now. They're savages, and they're doing both the calisthenics and the weightlifting. And actually, I was reading something about it the other day, and it's becoming more weightlifting focused. Mm. You know, whether it's Olympic, Wait, what is cross, CrossFit. the CrossFit? Okay, okay, I shouldn't say it's getting that more focused, but if you want to win the CrossFit Games, mm. you got to be able to lift some heavy weights. You got to be gotcha. able to deadlift a lot, snatch a lot, clean and jerk a lot. And if you can deadlift a lot, clean and jerk a lot, and snatch a lot, you're going to be able to do, and at least you practice the other movements, the muscle up, the pull ups. You're going to you're going to be much more apt to be able to do those things than the other way around. Mm. So, I mean, it's for somebody that can do a body weight snatch mm-hmm. is more likely to be able to do fifty pull ups in a row. Then somebody that's able to do 50 pull-ups in a row and that's their focus in life is mm-hmm. able to automatically do a body weight snatch. I mean, it's just the reality of it. That's yeah. what I think right now. Um, but the bottom line is on those, I use both of them. I, fi- I like to try and find that balance. And I think I use both of them according to what my body prescribes me. 